welcome back to Charcard, my friend. And it's great to see you again. Shall we have a go at open up some Sword and Shield, Fusion Strike, Build and Battle? Now, these sets are amazing. And I've been very, very excited about this set. A lot of people online have been saying, uh, it's just the leftovers of what left over the Japanese games. But do you know what? I'm looking forward to some of these chase cards in there. I would love to be able to get that Espeon VMAX, which I'll leave it on the screen. That card looks phenomenal. Absolutely beautiful and featuring the EV Heroes uh, you know, promo in there. Lovely little box. I can't remember what it's called, but it's an amazing expensive box. Also, the Genga V Max, which, like I said, I don't know how Pokemon managed to get hold of this photograph of me when I was on a holiday, eating at the all you can eat buffet, but that's a perfect representation of me. And also, the v, the, the Mew V Max box. Box? Card? That's more like it, isn't it? Because this is the box. <laughs> the card itself is th it's got a very London vibe. So, you know, I feel right at home with that card. And of course, we've got the Intellion V Max, which looks amazing at the sniper pose. It looks really cool. And of course, we've got a Flaffy Gold, which. That is a cool looking card. Now, these build and battle boxes, if you don't know too much about these, these are retailing at $19.99 in the United States of America. And here in the UK, they're about $24.99, £25. Let's just round it up, it's easier. In these boxes, these are intended for LGS stores. Now, these LGS stores normally have little events going on, but still some places are still not having them. No, I can't even get these, are terrible for getting into these. Oh, no. There you go, that's better. In these build and battle boxes, we of course get some uh, booster packs in there, and we also get a promo card. Now, there's four promo cards, so I'm gonna leave them on the screen. We, go, we got, so of course, number one, we got Deoxys, which is a very, very good looking card. He's been a bit greedy having all three uh, different strikes. We got the Oracorio as well, which is a very, very good looking card. The third one we got is the Latius, and the fourth one, which is the one I want to pull because I think the name is absolutely brilliant, Puka Muka 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 Muka. So leave it in the description or in the comments below. What one do you reckon I'm going to pull? Number one, two, three, or four? Let's play a little game. Let's find out what we get inside here. Oh, here we go, everybody. Of course, the sleeve gets removed. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Chara Card. We open up Pokemon stuff all the time just for a bit of fun. And if you're a long-term subscriber, thank you very much, my friend, and it's great to see you. Shall we get ready? Let's see if you're right. Don't write the answer after you've actually seen this. Make sure you write the answer before I flip the panel. Ready? Steady? Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Did you guys get it right? It is the Latius Fusion Strike, which actually, I'm a little bit disappointed. I wanted the Puka Muka 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 Muka. <laughs> So that's a very nice set there. Oh, what's this? They've changed the code. Do you know what? They've had these code cards for years, haven't they? They've had these, uh, where's one? Uh, there's me rummaging the bin, trying to find one. Can't find a card anywhere. Oh no. That's what they normally look like. So it looks like now they've gone, they've just gone to the portrait mode to uh, focus on the brand new uh, online version, which they'll be releasing in the future. What else do we get there? So we get, a lovely deck box to put your packs in. And of course, one of each pack work, pack work, pack work. I can get the C out, the CK out word then. So you get a Genesect, a Gengar VMAX, a Mew, and a Bolton, which I don't know why we keep getting Bolton because he's been in so many sets and yeah, you know, he's not an extremely happy thing. So that is what you get in your build and battle deck. Let's find out what we get. Of course, this is a little bit of a information about your building tips and Styles combine in a new strategy. It's focusing more about the uh, fusion strike that's uh, come along with the uh, single strike and rapid strike. It's very good if you have a little read there, anything on the back. There we go. Now this is lovely to have. If, you, if you're an avid collector like myself, these are ideal because you can go through it and tick all these without um, marking your elite trainer box books. Because they're the, or the player guides, we like to call them. But this is an amazing little thing to have. And uh, of course, most of the good cards are right at the end, aren't they? But the Greedent V and all that. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. The alternative are absolutely stunning. So, should we have a look what's inside there? Because of course, we need to know what's inside these. There's so many people keeping things sealed nowadays. Do you know what Pokemon is about? Sharing with your family and friends and seeing yeah, what amazing stuff is inside. Because to be honest, that's not a bad looking card. I've done a good job of that one. So we get a Quick Ball, Training Court, Shauna, Sonya, Karina's Focus, 
Oh, Latios, Latios, Latios. Very good, Latios, Latios. A fart crystal. Professor's Research. Very, very good staple card to have in your deck. Pokey Kid. Oh, Dreepy, Dreepy, Dreepy. Dracolock. Dracolock. Of course, we've got to have the Dragapult with a new Fusion Strike. Very good to see that. And there's the co card for you lot out there. So, I suppose... Have they changed? Is it green on the back? We'll find out. Let's hope. Let's hopefully pull a few white and greens and a few greens to find out what the difference is. But there's a code card for you all out there. Right. I'm gonna get Genesect out of the way. I'm not a good. I'm not a big fan of this guy. But look at the pat work on this. Absolutely gorgeous. It's, they're going for the uh, alternative art style, aren't they? So here we go, folks. Oh. So what does that mean? What does a white and white green mean? There's a code card for you out there. Like a thicker border as well. So white and green, we'll find out what that means. Uh, let's just do the card trick. Do you know what? I haven't done it for such a long time. Let's go straight into it so we get Lightning Energy, Sydney, Battle VIP Pass, a Graveler. Good to see Graveler back again. Basculin, Grublin, a Mankey, a Krogaluk, Krogaluk, a Pants on Fire, Pants here, Snubbo, and a Cloister. Check him out. I used to love Sheldon and Cloister back in the Kanto region. Very good. So. There you go. So that was from that set. Let's see what the next one. So Gengar V Max, bring me some luck, mate. Let's see what we can get with this one. Now, have you guys been looking forward to Fusion Strike? Leave it in the comments if you're actually uh, going to purchase this set, or you're going to completely bypass it and go, meh, I'm not going to bother because Brilliant Star looks amazing. Those cards, I mean, no, let's just start from the beginning. The pack work, the pack work is absolutely. Stuff. Look at the root. Look at that artwork. That is gorgeous. That is some of my favourite artwork so far I've seen from the set. Oh, get used to them because I bet we're going to see a lot of those. The, yeah, the pack work of the uh, brilliant stars. Oh my word, it's gorgeous. And that elite trainer box is one to definitely get hold of. A Pampor and an Aquanid. So it looks like the white is no good. Are we looking for the black ones? The black borders? We'll find out. Come on, we need, we need to get enough. We need to get a good one, don't we? Come on, let's, let's get something good for the channel. Oh, look, here's a black one. So, I wonder if black means good or bad. There we go. There's, a, there's your upside down code card. I do apologize, everybody. I do try to get them around the right way, but to be honest, I'm still learning. I think we all are, aren't we? Here we go. So, we've got, uh, oh, I saw something good then. Leaf Energy, a Croconor, Croconor, Coco Pop. So, you go, Elisa Sparkle, a Bewesh. We keep them quiet, don't wake him up. A Baltroy, a Corsola, a Quillfish, a Vulpix. A ch very nice. Look at chances. Nice. Very, very nice artwork again. A graveler and a Cinderace V Max. What a big ball that is! <laughs> Almost the first. Do you know what? This is very Halloween. It looks like a pumpkin, doesn't it? Wow. He's looking like he's the boss up there. Wow. I, I, I love. Th I love this card. I love this look of this card. This is absolutely hilarious. I, I really get in a British feel, a very Londonish feel. This, I mean, like I said, with the uh, Mew, with the, the buses on there, on its VMAX, and we've got a footballer set going on there. So that's a very good one. So we all now know if you get a white and black code, code card, black border, we know it's a good pull. If we get a white one, straight in the bin. Well, no, actually, probably not in the bin because there's 286 cards or whatever, how many there is to collect in this set. So we won't be throwing anything in the bin. We might need them all. And we get another white, so it's no good. I do apologize, and it is upside down. But thank you very much for joining us. We will be back probably tomorrow, hopefully with some more uh, Fusion Strike or the new VMAX Battle Decks League ones, whatever you want to call them, from um, Arushafus. So I'm going to focus on those very soon. And I'll see you in the next video, everyone. Take care and have a good evening. Let's go the golem. Dude, he's on fire. That's amazing. We had, a load, we had a load of balls in this, didn't we? We had balls here, balls here. Look, we've got a great ball there. We've got a ball there, ball there. We've got balls everywhere. Thank you very much, everyone. Take care and goodbye.